Hey, what's up, sports bettors? Alex here, and I thought this sports betting promotion on DraftKings Top Score Tuesdays was pretty interesting um, from a mathematical perspective, so I decided to do um, a video on it. And you can see they give you a 50% profit boost on any top point score bet today. But there's a term attached that you can only get maximum additional winnings of $100, which makes the math for this promotion pretty interesting. So we're going to go through it and figure out who is the best player to bet on. So I decided to place my top score Tuesday's bet on the uh, Nets versus Warriors game. So we'll go to player props. We'll go to scoring leader, and then we'll go into the Nets Warriors game. And you can see we have the odds for every player to score the most points in this game. And you can see Curry's leading the pack at minus 105 odds. So all this profit boost is doing is it's increasing the odds, right, by 50%. So Harden's going to go from plus 850 to plus 1275 if we apply the bonus, which you can see right here. So we, wanted, we want to determine who is the best player to put our profit boost on. So what we can do first is take all of these you know, odds, put them into this spreadsheet, find the implied probability, we get our sum of implied probabilities, and just like we've done in other videos, we standardize the implied probabilities to have a sum of one to get our estimate of the fair odds for each player, right? First or top point score bets clearly have a very high hold, 16%. It's a market with very high juice. Um, so, you know, you can see Curry, DraftKings is giving you minus 105, but the actual fair price, assuming, you know, Vegas spread out evenly from player to player, would be plus 132.1, right? So minus 105 is an awful bet. But with the 50% profit boost, we can figure out the odds we're getting, right? So for Curry, we're getting a 50% boost on our winnings. So the odds would go from minus 105 to plus 143, which we can see, you know, right here. So actually plus 142, whatever, due to some rounding. So Durant's going to go to plus 165. Harden, as we showed, is going to plus 1275. So this is where it gets pretty interesting because your extra winnings or your additional winnings is capped at $100, right? So what that means is if we were to place $50 on Harden plus 850, you know, to be the top point score, our profit would be 425 if we win. Now, with the boost, we're getting plus 1275. So if we tried to bet $50 with the boost, you know, our profit would be 63750. So the additional winnings would be 63750 minus 425, which is 21250, which is greater than 100. So according to the terms of this promotion, we can go back here very briefly. According to the terms of this promotion, you know, DraftKings isn't going to take that bet. They're not going to allow you to bet the maximum of $50 on Harden. So what we can do now is using this information, you can see there are only two players where the extra winnings is less than $100. For every other player, you would have to reduce your stake below $50 in order to place your bet um, with this promotion on that player, right? Like for Draymond Green, you're going from plus 10,000 to plus 15,000 odds, so your extra winnings would be 2.5K. And DraftKings is only letting you bet 1 25th of that, or only letting you have a max additional winnings of 1 25th of that. So you would have to reduce your wager, you know, to 1 25th of $50 or $2, right? So what we can do is first, we can say, okay, assuming we were able to bet the full $50, what would the expected value of betting on a particular player be, right? So all we're doing is similar to what we've done in other videos, we're saying, okay, so if we bet on Curry, and Curry is the top point scorer in this game, we are going to win 71.43 in profit, and according to our estimate of the fair implied probability for Curry to be the top point scorer, that should happen 43% of the time. So 43% of the time, we're winning 71.43. The other 57% of the time, um, we're gonna lose our stake, which is $50. So we can back out the expected value of betting on each player. Again, this is assuming you are able to bet the maximum of $50. And you can see what the math is telling you is assuming, you know, all of these odds is if juice is spread out evenly from player to player on DraftKings, the best player to bet on for this promotion would be one of these guys who has plus 10,000 odds. Patty Mills, uh, Bruce Brown, Blake Griffin, or Draymond Green. That's how you maximize EV. Um, you know, you'd be you'd be getting 1288 in expected um, profit by placing your bet on Draymond Green. But 
here's the thing. DraftKings isn't going to let us bet $50 on Draymond Green, so we're not actually going to be able to bet you know, $50. We're only going to be able to bet $2. So what we need to do is we need to find out how, you know, betting on a specific player, what is the maximum stake we can actually place on DraftKings so that our extra winnings does not go above um, $100. So you can see like for James Harden, we would only be able to bet 23.53 on Harden to be the top point scorer in this game at plus 12.75 odds because at that point our extra winnings would go down to $100 which is in accordance to the terms of the promotion. So you can see here, you know, and you'd only be able to bet $2 on these guys who have plus 10,000 odds which would be boosted to plus 15,000. Um, so what we can see is, you know, we'd be able to bet the full amount on Durant and Curry. We'd be able to bet $50. So if you wanted to bet the full amount, Durant would be your best bet at, um, uh, what would it be? Plus 165 odds. And the expected value of your bet would be 307 on a stake of $50. So, you know, your expected return of your bet would be, you know, roughly 6%. So what we can do is we can say, okay, assuming we actually follow the terms of the promotion and we only have max additional winnings of $100 and we reduce our stake for each player, what gets us to the highest expected value? And you can see it's actually betting on James Harden at plus 850 odds, um, um, 23.53. So the reduced stake of 23.53. That's what maximizes expected value. So, you know, which would get you to an expected return of roughly 10.23%. So what we'll do is we'll place our bet on Harden. And, and it's just interesting, um, you know, at least in my opinion, because even though you can't bet as much on James Harden, just based on the fact that profit boosts, you want to place them on bets with higher odds, it still, you know, uh, generates higher expected value to place your bet on Harden for 23.53, then it, you know, that makes more sense than betting the full amount on Durant um, um, plus 165 odds. So this video was a little confusing. The terms of this promotion are a little confusing, but I did think it was interesting to see and kind of go through the math um, of this sports betting promotion. So we can see the best bet would be on Harden 23.53. You can also, you know, look at other sports books to get a sense of where the lines are. So FanDuel is also giving you plus 850 on Harden being the top point scorer on this game. But what's interesting is FanDuel is giving you plus 105 on Curry and only plus 105 on Durant. So according to FanDuel, Durant, you know, and Curry should have the same probability of scoring the most points. Whereas on DraftKings, you know, it's pretty clear that, um, you know, DraftKings has Curry as the guy leading the pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our bet, you know, on Harden. 23.53 is the maximum wager they're going to take at plus 12.75 odds. So our max additional winnings will be $100. Um, so I hope you found this video helpful. Um, really just going through the math, showing how math can help you make better betting decisions. And um, I know this promotion was a little confusing and I probably didn't articulate it as, as well as I could have, but um, I still hope you found this video helpful. So thanks so much for your time and have a great rest of your day.